Just like in a modern computer, there is, buried deep inside the CURTA, a core, a central processing unit where the computation really happens at a fundamental level. The beating heart of the CURTA is the stepped drum mechanism. Every cranking mechanical adding machine needs some way for the user input to affect the mechanism inside. Like if I input a 3, that's got to somehow change the gears around inside so that it adds 3 instead of something else. Some machines use the pinwheel mechanism. That's a system of gears with retractable pins. So if you want to add 7, you make the gear have 7 teeth. If you want to add 4, you make the gear have 4 teeth. When I adjust the sliders on a pinwheel machine, I'm actually changing the number of teeth on the gears. It works well, but it's kind of delicate to make those pins pop in and out. The Curta's mechanism is a bit mechanically simpler than that. The stepped drum is a big cylindrical drum with these steps on it. If I put a gear down here at the bottom and spin it once around, the gear gets hit by all nine steps. But if I put it further up, it'll hit a different number of steps. So you can pretty easily vary the counting amount. You just move your counter wheel up and down the drum. A typical desktop adding machine using stepped drums will have a different stepped drum for each digit. The input buttons will either move the counting gears up and down the drums, or maybe the gears will be fixed and the drums will move. Here's a clip from Stephen Freeborn's channel of a classy traditional stepped drum machine. By the way, if you like my videos, you should definitely check out Stephen Freeborn. He's got really amazing machines and always has good things to say about them. The stepped drum was the main mechanism for the Monroe adding machines. Here's a video by Robert Baruch where he totally disassembled a Monroe Model K. And there's the stepped drums. The stepped drum mechanism was actually invented in the 1600s by mathematical legend Gottfried Leibniz. So the stepped drum was totally old news by the time Kurt came around. But it's really the perfect mechanism for the Curta. Kurt realized he could actually put several counter wheels on the same stepped drum. Now you can't put them next to each other since they all need to move freely up and down the drum. But how about this, huh? This is exactly how the Curta is set up. One big central stepped drum with eight sliding counting gears positioned in a circle around it. And the sliders on the face of the device just directly slide the counters up and down. It's all beginning to make sense. The actual step drum inside the Curta looks like this. The first thing I notice is that the Curta's drum isn't a full cylinder, but that doesn't really matter. As long as you include all the teeth you need, it works fine. But this is weird. At the very bottom, you got nine steps, and then moving up, you got eight, seven, six, and five, but then it just goes back up six, seven, eight, and nine. So, how would you ever do like four or three steps? And some of the steps are sort of isolated teeth, but some are these solid bars. This is weird, but Kurt knows what he's doing. Here, I made an unrolled version of the drum just so we can see it better. So when you position a counter wheel here at the bottom, it'll hit nine teeth, so it'll add nine. You move it up one click, it'll add eight. All right, good so far, but what about in the middle? Well, here it'll add six, and then five, and then one more click up. Look at the spacing. Now it's in between, so it only hits the solid bars, so it only adds four. Next click, it only adds three. It's in between. See, that gap in the middle is actually one and a half times the usual size of the gaps. So it goes in between. All right, so what about all those other gears at the top that it's going in between? Like, what do those even do? Well, let me remind you of this. The subtraction mode. This little doink here shifts the drum by exactly half a position. So if I was adding three and then I popped the doink, the whole thing shifts by a half position like this. And now instead of three, it's going to add seven. But if you're just looking in that one digit, adding seven is the same as subtracting three. The in-betweens is what makes the subtraction mode work. See, really what we have here is two separate stepped drums, one for subtraction and one for addition, and they've been superimposed on top of each other, like two parallel universes. And to jump from one to the other, you just pop the doink. Kurt, man, you got it. Mm -hmm.